Hello and welcome uh, to Mr Ricardo's Curry Kitchen. Well, in fact, it's Dan Toombs' The Curry Guy Kitchen today because I'm up here um, in his fantastic setup uh, doing some cooking videos. And today, well, in this segment, should I say, we're going to be cooking a lamb vindaloo yep. from Dan's first book, The Curry Guy, the first curry book, uh, which is uh, really best selling. And uh, I, I love it myself. Uh, vindaloo is one of my favourite curries, and Dan's uh, going to prove me. I do uh, love the vindaloo. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, anyway, that's the book. I'm sure you, if you haven't heard of it, you must live somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, there you go. Uh, I'll hand you over to Dan, who's going right. to take over. Thanks, Richard. Right. right. So, I'm just going to start this out by adding about two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more, of rapeseed oil, that's canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever. And we're just going to let that heat up in the pan there for a bit. Um, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about what we're putting in here. I mean, because there is there are some uh, uh, you know chili powder, everything like you'd expect. But I've got a nice habanero chili there that uh, I've already chopped up. But I just want to let you see it since uh, so we got one of those in there. You could add more if you like it spicy. Uh, yeah. Why not? You know, and a couple of those uh, green bird's eye chilies. And uh, so right. this is uh, should be getting going. I'm going to add one. Star anise and three green cardamom pods. Do you know, I think that the star anise really adds a, a, a layer of flavour. It does, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a cut through. I do like it. Yeah. Alright, and to that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon garlic and ginger paste. And as you know, you just want to cook this off, cook out the rawness. What ratio of ginger to garlic do you use in your paper? I usually use a little bit more, about 55 45. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> very useful. Yeah, yeah. But that's, well, it's so in favour of garlic. Obviously. Yeah, I love garlic. I love oh, garlic. Too. Yeah. So, Ingo needs chilies. Yep. Yep. And this is a BIR style. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, the, it's the classic restaurant uh, yeah. style. Uh, I thought I'd point that out because, and this is not in my book, but I love curry leaves, so in they go. Yeah. <laughs> and why not? Yeah, why not? If you like them, I put curry leaves in everything. Indeed. Yeah. So, so it smells. Let me go in the pan. And that you all get some of the leaves. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Alright. Now I'm going to add about a quarter cup or so tomato puree. And just let those. Uh, you smell that? That's a. Uh, yeah, it's going to have a like rich umami Yeah. Smell. It's going to let that cook down a little bit. Like caramelize there around the pan. Yep. And uh, yeah, why not? I'm going to throw in some spices as well now. Yep. I got some uh, turmeric, a teaspoon of turmeric there. Nice big, generous tablespoon of cashmere chili powder. Oh. Lovely color. Yeah. And then some of my mixed powder. And uh, Richard has a really good recipe for uh, mixed powder, so you, you admire Richard's they are using quite similar. Oh yes, you, you um, have it specially blended for you, don't you? That's right, yes. Uh, um, spice, there's a plug for Spice Kitchen, uh, Sanjay. Uh, so you're really a brilliant company, it makes my job a lot easier yes. than just make it. That's right, I've got one of one the solid arbors, brilliant stuff. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of this base sauce here, not too much. the heat. So, I, I turned it down somehow. <laughs> That's what happens. Look, hey, this isn't bubbling. Look, I mean, <laughs> I, I got through the last video just, I think I winged it yeah. just about right, but it could have gone drastically long. I don't think you're doing, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. No. All right, and so to this, now, black pepper is not something that's used in BIR very often. No, it's not. Uh, maybe in garam masala, perhaps, but, yeah, but yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. Really I, I like black pepper. Yeah. And uh, I know that the original vindaloo is not the BIR ones, but the ones in, uh, uh, you know, from Goa, the first yes. vindaloo, use a lot of curry leaves and they use a lot of black pepper. Yeah. So uh, yeah. as this is kind of based on, and not the same, but based, I do yeah. use some black pepper in my. I do like black pepper. Not too much, just about a half teaspoon there. And then I stir. And then, in my books, I've got recipes for pre-cooked lamb, pre-cooked chicken, pre-cooked potatoes, all that stuff. 
and I didn't use them for this. Oh, uh, so I'll, I'll put this away. No, I just want to let people know of an easier way of doing it. I mean, obviously, those are those are recipes in their own right. You can eat them like a curry because there's just so much to them. But I cooked some uh, lamb. This is leg of lamb here, and I cooked it in um, some of the base sauce, which not this base sauce, but another base sauce, uh, which gave it a nice flavor of the lamb. So picked the, the, the base sauce, picked that up. That's a good. And that's I a kept good some. I kept some of this as well, some of the, the stock from oh, that. Oh yes. Just to give it a flavor, like you'd expect a, a nice long, slow cooked lamb curry. To this. <coughs> You're talking to cough now. <laughs> it's a chili powder. Yeah. I'm getting there too. I can feel it on my face. <coughs> Let's see if I can cool down with a little bit of this. All right, I'm just gonna let that simmer there. That's almost done now. Of course, we need to add a little bit of salt. I want to finish this video up before I start really coughing. Yeah, let's let's we've got the gas masks. We'll let yeah, the gas masks. Yeah. All right. Then this is something I don't normally add, but a lot of people do like cooked potatoes. Yeah. So again, I cook these potatoes for about 10 minutes. Oh, they're soft in some base gravy. And, uh, Fantastic. It's, uh, it, it's a bit of a misnomer putting in the loose and potato. Don't get me wrong, they work, I think, very well. Yeah. It's, it's more common in the south of England than it is up north. Uh, but it, it just works. Well, it, just works. It, it, it was a translation problem. You know that, don't yeah, you? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Is it Vindaloo? It's like, I think maybe some chefs assume uh, at some point that uh, al Vindaloo meant, meant something well, with potato. Al Aloo means potato. In Hindi. Yes. Yeah. So the uh, a lot of the chefs misinterpreted that. Garlic. Uh, yeah. Garlic, which means garlic. Yeah. Exactly. So it's yeah. supposed to be a garlic. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to touch that anymore. Just want to let that simmer. And I'm going to add certain just a little bit of jaggery. Now this is jaggery. You could use uh, regular sugar. I don't have a sweet tooth. But I do add just a touch of jaggery to my vindaloos. <coughs> Excuse me. I think you find that when you've got a curry that's got a lot of chili powder in it, it kind of just rounds it off slightly. It does. It just, you know, that's not going to be enough to make it sweet. No. But no. it is going to be enough to just kind of give it a nice... Yeah, you've got plenty of sweetness in the veg gravy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're going to finish this up now. Um, I'm going to break some... Uh, Kassur Matthew over the top there. Top there. To my fingers. To my fingers. It kind of brings out the flavor, out the flavor when, when you run it between your fingers. I do like it. Do like it more. a little bit more. Scrape some of that off the side there. Right there. there. Curry. The curry. And, and, if, if, there we are, there we are. We'll put a little bit of vinegar. A little bit of vinegar. Just a touch, about, just a touch, touch about two tablespoons. What sort of vinegar are you using? I'm just using some white vinegar. Right. I find it doesn't make a big difference. A lot of times I use, um, Tamarind, uh, tamarind water or something like that because it's giving that sour yep. flavor to the curry. All right. I think we're about sorted here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be a spicy one. Yes, yes. <laughs> there you are. You want to give this a try? I do, yeah. Go for it. Oh, okay, I'm going in. Try a bit of this lovely lamb. Not too spicy actually. Might be a little bit spicy for my my kids. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Back of the throat. Yeah. You get it, you get it, you get it. It's, it, time, it's, it's like saying hello to you in a, in a in a rough way, but it's time for a cobra. Time for a cobra, it's very yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I think yeah. once you get over that, mm -hmm. it, it mellows a bit. And it's um it tastes delicious, mm. and the spices really come through. And you taste the curry leaves too, I just love that flavor of curry. Yeah. They're my favorite herb of all time. Mm. That's very good. Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, Dan, for thank this you very uh, much. amazing video. this way. Yes, um, mm. and uh, yeah, I can't wait to try more of that. Yeah, we have a couple more curries to cook today too. Oh, so we do, yes, yeah, if, yeah. We, if we're not sort of collapsed all right. on the floor. Okay, thanks, Dan. That's great, thanks.